it's a really windy morning. About 5.30 in the morning. On Sunday morning. Here in Lexington. And it's so windy, guys. Throughout this little lane that we live on. But I've been hearing this really... It's really kind of loud. It's almost like, I promise you, a shofar. But I'm, I'm hoping that it plays again because, guys, I, I tried to get Alex to record it and his phone went dead. I tried to get my phone. I turned around and it wasn't where I thought it was supposed to be. So, isn't that always the way it is when you're trying to get something recorded? But... If it's important and if it's real, it'll it'll happen again. And I'll get it this time. Okay, guys. I'm just gonna be real quiet for a minute and we'll we'll see what happens, if anything, and I'll show you guys some real pretty um if I can get them, let's see. Those are some really pretty townhouses that we have here. And each one's a little different. I think they're pretty. It's real, qu real quiet and peaceful out here. But anyway, maybe the shofar will sound again for sure be so great guys it would just be so wonderful I can't wait to meet all of you all and what we've looked forward to for so long now some of us longer than others but in either case I can't wait to meet my forever family you guys They say it's the darkest before the dawn, and I think that that goes for um, all of the things that we see happening right now, you know, it's been, it's been hard to watch some of it, guys, and, and, and every bit of it, unprecedented. Some of us, the older ones, you know, the younger ones will ask sometimes, have you ever seen this happen before? Have you ever seen this happen? And we have to tell them it's the first time we've ever seen it happen, too. Because these things didn't happen before. They did not. People were different. Places were different ideology or ideas in general the whole culture and I mean the the ambiance or you know surrounding like uh, anything that you would do socially with other people was different used to um, you could talk to people who were say your church family and and, uh, sure, there would be a testimony there most of the time. But even people who were unbelievers then were so much more polite or nice or whatever you want to call it. But they, it's just that, you know, it was hard to tell sometimes the, uh, the believers from the unbelievers or the sheep from the goats. And now we know that the separation is taking place because it's so divided. It is so plain to see that the separation is taking place. And um, we've been called uh, chosen, justified, and we will be glorified, like the Bible says. And um, 
<laughs> it's so windy, guys. But when, um, you know, when the Lord's speaking in the Bible and He says, um, you know, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give all those according to His deeds must be. I'm the Alpha and Omega, fruit and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. It's like, yes, He really is. And when his reward is with him to give all those according to his deeds must be that it says it means that our reward is is uh, to go to heaven and be with him forever. And theirs is to be with their father. Different destination, but um, nevertheless, you know, there, what does it say in Psalm 91? It says that um, only with your eyes will you look and see the reward of the wicked. We think of reward, you know, here on earth. And usually when you say that word, people think of some, people do think of something good. You know, they're getting a reward for what they've done. You know, good job. You know, you get a medal or a trophy. Um, but when the Bible speaks of these things, it, <clears throat> and it says that they get their reward, it's for those whose father is the father of lies. It's a different kind of reward. <coughs> Jealousy, those little lights over there that I was recording just a second ago on this. Um, let's see if I can get them back in the picture. That I just happened to notice that while I'm sitting here blabbing. And uh, it looks so strange to me. Hold on. Let me see. It's like, uh, I'm not really sure what that is. It's like little flashing lights, and they were more in a circle a minute ago. I guess you all could roll back the, the recording and see me. that. Look, look at this, Alex. Look, honey. No, I saw those earlier. Isn't that strange? Yeah, I, I didn't know what that was. I don't know what it is either, because technically it's like, well, it's not the the townhouse right across not the street all. from us, but it's the one a couple down from us. I don't think they're from the townhouse or nothing. I, I don't know what that is. Look at that, Alex. It's so strange. It's got a, a red and a yellow and a blue light. Seems like there's a tower over there. You know darn well you would have noticed something like that before if there was a tower with lights flashing. Goodness, Allie. And as, and as much of detail-oriented people as we are, and especially me, I mean, I notice every little thing like that. I notice things surrounding me. And like as far as the, um, you know, things like in nature and put a tree there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, honey. Anyway. Guys, I have no idea what that is. But it looks like almost like a round, I hate to say it, but it almost looks like a round disc. Like a, like a UFO or something. I don't know. It's very strange. Now you watch it. If this thing starts to lift off, lift off, and it zooms out of here, I'm gonna freak out. Oh goodness! And now my phone is saying battery low. 